Hi, this is lesson number 23 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to type text around the path using selection. Based on selection, we will create path and then we will type text. I will also share a very useful tip to make easy your workflow if first time you are using text on the path. Here in my screen, I have an image and I am going to type text around this plate. The first thing we are going to make a selection. That selection we will convert into path and using that path we will type text. Any selection tool we can use from here to access this area. I will use quick selection tool and simply add selection this way. Now our main subject is selected. We need to give offset to this selection so it will be a little bit far from the object once we will type text. To give offset go to select menu, modify, click on expand, expand by in my case it is 30 and depending on your image size you can increase and reduce this value. I will click OK. So this is how the selection it is expanded. To convert this selection into path it is simple just right click and click on make work path. So once I will click on make work path another dialog box will open and here we need to set the tolerance. Currently applied tolerance is 2. If you will increase the tolerance there will be less nodes on the path. The tolerance is 2.0 if I will click OK. This how we have path. This path we will use for text. Here we have path palette. If you don't have in your workspace, you can go to the window and simply click on the paths. If I will open the path, you can see work path. It is added here. Click on text tool. Horizontal type tool is already selected. Now if I will click here over this path, I will be able to type text. But I have text in Microsoft Word file. I am going to just copy. Highlight the text, control C, go back and here we are going to paste that text over this path. This time with our text tool we have three cursor position. If I will bring my mouse outside of this path you can see there is a dotted square. This is indicating that if I will click here Photoshop will create new independent layer for the text and that will not be connected anymore with this path. If I will hover my mouse over the path, you can see that there is a dotted curve. This is indicating that if I will click this time, now the text will flow over the path. And if I will bring my mouse inside, you can see there is a circle, dotted circle. This is indicating that if I will click in this position, this path, it will become text box and we can type text. But since we need to type text around the path, so we will click exactly over the path. Once this dotted curve appears, just click and here the text is added and this is the default. Since we copied our text from the word file, we can paste here, click on edit menu and click on paste. So this is our text and it is added here. Now here you need to understand if you are first time using text on the path, it is a little bit frustrating because once you will move the text, sometime it is uncontrollable and you cannot adjust the way you want over the path. So I will share very easy and simple tip here. To move the text around this path, the first thing you need to use path selection tool. Now if I will click anywhere, the cursor is here and we are ready to type or add more text. At this point, the text tool is selected and you can see here we have small circle so this small circle with the four nodes is indicating that this is the starting point and end point for our text. To move this text, we will use a path selection tool that is next to the text tool. You can click and hold and see here we have path selection. There is a direct selection tool. This tool we can use to edit the path. But for now, we are going to use path selection tool. The black arrow, it is selected and now you can see that circle disappear. But with my mouse pointer, once I will bring my mouse over that circle in this location, 
look at this one arrow is directed to the left and if I will bring my mouse here one arrow is directed to the right. So, these two arrows indicating that our starting point and end point is in the same place in this area. But if I will just bring my mouse over the path you cannot see any more small black triangle. So, this is the indicator I will be able to see the starting point and end point. Now, it is directed to the left side. So, here is our end point if I will click look at this there is a cross and circle. This cross is indicating where the text is started and the circle is indicating the end point of our text. So, if I will click and drag the circle this way now my mouse pointer is outside of the path. I am giving space to move the text back. So, now I set my end point here if I will bring my mouse pointer inside now look at this the text is inside the path. So, we need to keep our cursor outside this way and I will relocate somewhere here I will release the mouse now we set our end point here. So, we have here more space to bring back our text. Now, if I will hover my mouse over the text you can see the arrow is directed to the right side indicating that I can move this text forward or back. So, I will click and bring it back my mouse pointer is outside the path and look at this. But when I will reach to this point now my text will start disappearing only we can see flavors that it is because our end point is really close to the starting point and if I will go further you can see the text appear once again. So, this is the basic principle you need to understand the starting point and end point. So, here I am going to set my text once you will release your mouse that cross and circle will disappear. If you want to see you can simply click on text tool and click anywhere or the text once the text tool is active you will see the starting point and end point. If we want we can increase the size double click to select one word this way and continually three time clicks to select the entire text one two three. So, now the text is selected and here we can move our mouse left and right to increase or reduce the size of course, you can click on this drop down and you can choose the font size and even you can type here I will just prefer this I am happy with the font size and font style is also good that is uh, Kevit. Let us move back a little bit more click on path selection your mouse over the first letter and click and drag it back. So, this how we type text over the path if I will click on move tool the text is selected, but the path it is there if you want to remove this path it will disappear once the path is not selected in the path palette. Now, this path with the text is selected if I will click here outside in this area. Now, we have text and once you will print or export this to JPEG or any other format this will be the final result. To make your workflow easy with the text on the path make sure that you understand the starting point and end point and how to relocate them to get the desired result. That is all for now I hope you enjoy this lesson try to open the similar images and practice. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.